And I'm here to tell you today, if you got a, somebody came to my office the other day crying, I said, look, don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Getting to where you want to be is a long road. Often, the person standing in the way of making it happen is yourself. Focus on the right things. It's all about your perspective when you face difficulties. You need to learn to look past the struggle that it will take to get you where you need to be and focus instead on the end game. You can only get better by doing the work and you can get through it if you are willing to try. Simply talking about accomplishing your dreams doesn't make them real. You have to put in the hard work and be dedicated to your own cause to be successful. Take advice when it's offered to you, even if the lessons may not seem to make sense at the time. Learn everything you can, take what you need to from it, and use it to your advantage. And it was weird because in my mind, like Daniel sent in the Karate Kid, I had one perspective of what it looked like. Treat every single opportunity as the last opportunity you will be given. Never become complacent and keep getting better. Because when you stop trying, you're wasting those opportunities. You have to push yourself to be the best at what you do. And when you finally find yourself in that position, don't lose it. There are many ways to fail. So concentrate on being better than you were the day before. You need a desire to be successful. Having the passion to make change isn't enough to make it happen. You need to have the theory and practice as well. If you don't know what the next step to take is, seek outside help and listen to what others have to say to you. You can't always do it alone. And it's okay to look outwardly for direction. But most importantly, you can't make any progress in improving your life if you aren't willing to first give yourself a chance. I love it. It turns me on. No, Eric. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be stronger when I come back. Work on your focus. Work on your focus. Perspective is everything. And let me tell you something, the problem with most of you is that you see difficult as something negative. For real, for real. You, and I want, you to, I want you to see difficult differently. Are you hearing me? I need you to see difficult differently. Now, that weightlifter, when my man looking at those weights, when he got that iron, that iron is heavy. But he's not looking at that iron like, look how heavy the iron is. And he knows what it's gonna do. It's gonna tear his muscles to pieces. He gets it. But what he understands is that if he tears them down, they're gonna rebuild themselves. And when they rebuild themselves, they're that much stronger. Listen to me. The more you go through, the more difficult it is, the more challenging it is. Listen to me, the harder it is. Are you hearing me? The more challenging it is, all you're doing, baby, is building muscle. You're building muscle. So don't quit. Don't give up. Don't, don't stare at them. You don't, listen to me. You don't get buff by staring at weights. You don't get buff by, by look, you don't get healthier by staring at it. You get healthier by running up to it and grabbing it and pushing it. Look, push through that stuff. Push through it. You can get through it. He said he won't put on you more than you can bear. You can get through it. So if you want to make six figures, you can't just be talking about you want to make six figures. You hear what I'm saying to you tonight? If you do the three things I tell you to do tonight, I guarantee you, whatever it is you want to do in life, you'll be able to do. You will be able to accomplish whatever you want to academically, financially, relationally, whatever. So three things. All right, now I'm going to tell you the story. I got to get out of here. And the story is about, you guys have probably heard about this before. It was a it was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money. And so he went to this guru, right? And he told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. He like the beach. I said, I want to make money. I don't want to swim. Guru said, if you want to make money, I'll meet you tomorrow, 4 a.m. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit. He should have wore shorts. The old man grabs his hand, said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. So he like, this guy crazy. I'm Adrian, he's like, I want to make money. He got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had it right around this area, the shoulder area. So this old man crazy. He making money, but he crazy. He said, come on out a little further. He came out a little further. It was right at his mouth. My man like, I'm about to go back in here. This guy is mine. 
Listen to me, I don't drink coffee. Why? I'm wired differently. Every time I get on the stage, I'm thinking to myself, E.T., when you get up, you're only as great as your last work. If you don't go to Australia and tear up the house, they may never invite you back. For some of you, when you do what you do, you act as if you have another opportunity. I'm wired differently. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Every opportunity, I'm still nervous. E.T., you've been doing this for years. Why are you so nervous? Because the day you become Come content. The day you stop evaluating yourself, the day you stop growing, the day you stop getting better is the day you die, is the day the person who's trying to catch you will get you. I don't know how many of you guys are in the golf. They said it's not popular. Tiger Woods, no problem. He'll be the best ever. So let's go back again. Arnold Palmer, nobody ever thought that anybody could beat Arnold Palmer. They didn't think it could happen. Tiger Woods came on the scene at a very young age. Boom, lighting up the scene. They said, ooh, he's going he's gonna to catch him. But what they did not know was that Tiger was not, uh, he, we thought he was wired differently until something happened. His whole life, he had been a winner. His whole life, ever since he was a kid, he won everything he did. And then something happened away. Something happened in his personal life that broke him. And I remember feeling somewhat insufficient, like having desire to take the educational system to the next level. I had a desire to help kids who had dropped out. Primarily, these were young women who had gotten pregnant, right? And I knew they were gifted, and I knew they were talented. And I knew that they could get in the classroom and do what it took to be successful, right? But they had these barriers, right? And so I just kept thinking to myself, like, I know I can do this. I know I can turn education around. But at that particular time, I must be honest, I had the passion, but I didn't necessarily have the theory. I had the passion, but I didn't necessarily have the effort. And so I remember saying to myself, if I could just find that individual that I could get inspiration from, if I could find that mentor, that person that could give me the blueprint, like I, I know I can make a difference, like I know I could turn things around. And so I remember going to different people and asking, is there such a person? Does this person exist, right? And you know how it is, there, there, there's this guru. And so everybody kept saying in that particular city, in that particular region, like this is the person you need to go see. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content.